Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the San Fernando Mission. I'm going to take two fingers on the left and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across. I come over here on the right hand side and I'm going to put three fingers on the right and put another dot. From that dot, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, come back to the dot, straight diagonal down on the right. I come right above the dot and I put another dot. Now I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left and a straight diagonal down on the right. At the ends I'm going to draw a slightly curved line, slightly curved line. Starting on the left I draw a straight line down on the left and a straight line down on the right. I come inside and I'm going to mimic the lines I've already drawn. I'm going to draw a triangle. I'm going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, and right in the center I'm going to put straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, straight line down, one, two, little straight lines. Now I come all the way back up to this top dot and I'm going to draw a straight line all the way across. Keep going, keep going, keep going. When I get down here to the left hand side I'm going to draw a slight straight diagonal out and then I'm going to draw another straight line all the way back, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going and connect. I come back to the left and I draw a straight line down. Now this is what's unique about the San Fernando Mission. This whole section is archway, so watch what I do. Straight line up, curve line over, straight line down. Right next to it, straight line up, curve line over, straight line down. We're going to keep doing straight line up, curve line, straight line down, connect, all the way over, straight line up, Curve line down, straight connect, keep going, try and fit in as many arches as you can. And this is what's unique about the San Fernando Mission, is that because it's in the San Fernando Valley in California, it is extremely hot. It can get up to the hundreds in the temperature, and obviously they use this building technique with all of these openings for ventilation. Alright, once you've done it once, now you're just going to come up and mimic that line you just drew. Come up, over, all the way down, keep going, keep going, keep going, all the way down. Now if you can't fit them all in, they're a little bit squished, that's okay, that's what's up with mine, I'm still going to keep going. Okay, now joining each one, if you can, is you put two little straight lines. You can't see them right there, but there's there. One, two, skip that one. One, two, one, two, one, two, all the way down. Okay, now the roof is going to be curved lines because it's red tile. So we're going to curve line these. And we're going to come all the way back to the left, going to the right, draw some straight lines all the way across. I think I can fit one more in. And now we're going to put curve lines inside the spaces. And that's to represent the tiles. Now, again, the missions obviously used whatever materials were available in that environment. And in this case, I'm assuming these are all adobe red tiles all the way across. Now, I mentioned it before but I'll say it again. Each one of the missions is built 
according to wherever it is in the environment and like I said the San Fernando Valley is extremely hot and I'm pretty sure that's why this lineup of arches is the way that it is. Now I come over to my front and I put one, two straight lines on the left, one, two straight lines on the right, and because it's so hot, I'm going to draw a circle, and there's my sun. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I went through my crayon box and looked for every color of brown that I could find because, of course, this is also a dusty area. Let's start off with yellow for my sun. And then I used regular brown for my doorways, my arches, all the way down and across. Keep going. I used another brown that I found for the inside of my archways all the way down. I found another brown that I used for the red tile roof. So it's more of a reddy brown, reddish brown all the way for each one of these. And if you take your time and color in each one of these roof parts, it really lends itself to looking great. I know it's a lot of work, but you can do it because I know I did it too. Okay. Then, because it's not really a white white, I found an apricot that I did the base part of the mission all the way across. Do the front. And because it is in a very dry part of the San Fernando Valley, not a lot of green, so I used peach to kind of represent that dusty roadway and then because it needs a pop of color desperately I got out my blue turquoise blue and really colored uh, the background sky a bright blue just to give it some color and make it pop okay let's see what it looks like all colored in Okay, here's the San Fernando Mission all colored in with those extremely definitive archways going across the side. That's really what is, um, makes the mission stand out as different from some of the other ones that um, I'll be drawing. Okay, bye-bye.